The eviction moratorium has been extended several times since the pandemic started, but Washington's bridge program for it ended yesterday. We spoke to Spokane Neighborhood Action Partners, and they want people who are facing eviction to know they're not alone and help is available. Oh, we know a lot of times we have clients constantly coming in embarrassed, saying they've never had to ask for help before. And the reality is a lot of people are in that boat. There's no shame to get help, and it's really helping everybody for you to get that rental assistance. It's helping your landlord. It's helping the community. So we really encourage folks to do that. Bishop says they've given out about $20 million in rental assistance, and there's still more. SNAP says you'll want to be diligent if you need help. And if you think you might qualify for rental assistance, you'll want to apply, especially if you have an eviction notice. Vanessa Perez is live with the organizations people can turn to. This is understandably a stressful time for people facing eviction, but there are a number of groups out there working to keep a roof over your head. If you need help, housing advocates say you'll want to reach out now. We've now reached a point in this pandemic many families fear. Protections have ended for tenants who can't pay rent in Washington, but there is hope. Fortunately, there are a lot of resources available that can put a lot of people's minds at ease. There's rental and utility assistance, even legal help for those who've been served with eviction notices. SNAP says they're helping 10 to 30 households every day. So we know a lot of times we have clients constantly coming in embarrassed, saying they've never had to ask for help before. And the reality is a lot of people are in that boat. There's no shame to get help, and it's really helping everybody for you to get that rental assistance. It's helping your landlord, it's helping the community, so we really encourage folks to do that. To get that help, you'll need to be diligent. Spokane County residents outside city limits can apply for rental assistance with SNAP. If you're a city resident, you'll need to go through the city's portal. Some requirements include making 80% of the area median income and if your employment was impacted by the pandemic reply right away to your landlord once you get that notice. Work through the process, whether it is going to a mediation center, whether it is setting up a reasonable payment plan, if that's something that your landlord is offering, and then certainly right away start applying for rental assistance if that's something you think you may qualify for. Nicole says there is no deadline as to when those rental assistance funds will end. If you like a list of resources, you could head to our website, kxly.com. Reporting live in Spokane, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now.